Yesterday in Gaza, after eight days of intense armed conflict, there was um, a feeling among the population of a, a certain hope, a certain hope that things would go back to, to normal. Unfortunately, in the afternoon of yesterday, conflict restarted again in different parts of the, of the Gaza Strip, and the night was once again very, very heavy for the population. Um, the fact that the technicians in charge of the maintenance of vital infrastructures, like the water, like electricity, are also afraid to move, to do the necessary maintenance, to repair uh, damages caused by the conflict. They have lost staff. It happened two days ago where five staff were killed in the south. And there are important work to, to be made, important damage which needs reparation, but they don't want to move anymore. The only exception they are ready to do is with the presence of the ICRC and making sure the, the ICRC could coordinate these movements with the parties to the conflict. So that's going to be the, the priority for the ICRC, it's to make sure that these people can move, can do the, the reparation and that we avoid any humanitarian crisis, huge humanitarian crisis, because we talk about probably one third of the population, so more than 500,000 people who could be affected by the, the shortage of water and the shortage of electricity. But this obviously also has consequences on hospitals, uh, which depend definitely on, on the electricity, on fuel, and that's, that's a major problem. Important to note that the situation before the war was not a normal situation when it comes to vital, vital infrastructures. It was already extremely fragile. So that kind of system uh, facing such an intense war is definitely problematic and, and worrying for the whole for the whole Gaza population. The consequences are very clear. Civilians are paying the price day by day, hour by hour, and medical personnel, we have called the both parties to make sure that medical personnel can move, can evacuate the people, and this is getting even more complicated today.